Welcome to all participants. Aikmiss 60 years of dynamic journey of successful transformation from good to great. According to the Oxford Dictionary, the word Aikmi means highest point of perfections. In 1954, Aikmi was founded modestly as a proprietorship firm at Narenganj by the great visionary, the late Hamidur Rahman Sinha, with a very noble and holistic motto to ensure health, vigor and happiness for all. At that time, the prevalent environment for establishing any industry by an East Pakistani entrepreneur was very much difficult. But due to unplugging zeal, courage and enthusiasm of Mr. Hamid Rahman Sinha, together with his ardent desires and pragmatic leadership, could not stop the journey of Aikmi. In this noble journey, undoubtedly, the continued support and cooperation of Mr. Sinha's beloved wife, late Nur Jahan Sinha, was a fundamental source of inspiration. Aikmi's journey during pre-liberation period was not at all smooth, rather it was very much crucial, challenging and full of uncertainty as because in those days the pharmaceuticals market was dominated by multinational companies and the negative attitude of the Pakistani rulers towards East Pakistani entrepreneurs as well. Because of previous successful business track record of late Hamid Rahman Sinha during pre-partition period coupled with the rich heirs of business legacy from his father, he was a very sound business planner. As such, he made a foolproof strategic planning for the chronological journey and transformation of the company to make it a success story. In 1971, the Great Liberation War was fought and the overall situation of the country was drastically deteriorated until independence was won in December 1971. After liberation, the factory of Aikmi had to transfer to Dhaka for an interim period with a view to eventually transfer it in a larger location outside Dhaka city. In 1976, Aikmi was converted into a private limited company for giving it perpetual shape and eventually in 1983 the Aikmi's plant was transferred to Dhamrai on the outskirts of the capital about 40 kilometers away from Dhaka city after making BMRE. At that time Mr. Mizanur Rahman Sinha became managing director of the company and Dr. Jabilu Rahman Sinha and Mr. Afzal Rahman Sinha became deputy managing directors of the company apart from other promoter directors. Mr. Hamid Rahman Sinha gave his children appropriate education, trained them in the business during his lifetime and set them on proper path with a long-term succession plan for running the organization. After sad demise of Mr. Hamid Rahman Sinha in 1994, his eldest son, Mr. Nasir Rahman Sinha, became chairman of the company. At that crucial time, when the company was suffering the agony of the founder's sad demise, the managing director and CEO of the company, Mr. Mizan Rahman Sinha, was the one who played a pivotal role of the company and built a very well-motivated team of directors, shareholders and total human resources of the company to materialize the unfinished tasks of the late founder. Thereafter, Mr. Mizan Rahman Sinha concentrated on building Aikmi completely with new state-of-art facilities in all respect in order to meet the global challenges of the medicinal world of the 21st century. In this phase, Mr. Mizan Rahman Sinha played the role of a visionary leader, great catalyst and versatile facilitator. By his charismatic leadership, 
appropriate decision-making abilities, bold perseverance together with the wholehearted efforts of other key directors and dedicated efficient professionals, the company went through huge expansion phases and established most modern state-of-the-art production line facilities. He also turned the ordinary marketing and distribution network into one of the strongest in national and international grounds, making the company one of the top players in pharmaceutical industry of Bangladesh. In order to make the plants successful and to take its best shot, in 2011, the Aikmi Laboratories Limited converted into a public limited company for strengthening its capacity and skill and also accelerating its speed to meet the global challenges of the 21st century. With a view to reinforcing the strength of the board of directors and to ensure more transparency and good governance in day-to-day -day business activities of the company, two nominee directors, namely Mr. Mohammad Faiku Zaman, Managing Director of ICB, and Mr. Mohammad Abdul Rauf, General Manager of ICB, joined in the board in 2013. In 2014, another two persons, namely Sayyid Shahid Reza, ex-ambassador, and Ms. Fauzia Huck, FCA, joined as independent directors. All the members of the board of directors of the company are highly professionals, skilled, well experienced, extremely devoted, responsible, committed and reputed in their respective arenas. Unfortunately, in 2014, Mr. Nasirur Rahman Sinha voluntarily retired from the post of the chairman due to his prolonged severe physical illness and Mr. Afzal Rahman Sinha was appointed as chairman of the company on 20th September 2014. Virtually, Aikmi's beginning in 1954 was a modest but very good and noble initiative. In 1976, converting the sole proprietorship firm into a private limited company was a better and more sustainable approach. Finally, transforming it into a public limited company and amalgamating with its sister concern in the recent past has turned it into a great company. In brief, this is the story of Aikmi's dynamic journey of successful transformation from good to better and better to a great company. A glaring example of passionate, consistent and excellent business practice. In fact, key reasons behind the continuous growth and success in business of Aikmi are its magnificent strategic planning, bold leadership, highly motivated teamwork, high level of integrity and continued support of doctors, chemists, pharmacists, bankers and other stakeholders. The founder of Aikmi, the great visionary, late Mr. Hamid Rahman Sina, began his noble journey toward success by establishing of the Aikmi Laboratories Limited. In 1954, with historic and holistic motto for health, vigor and happiness. Since inception, the Aikmi Laboratories Limited has been producing life-saving ethical drugs at an affordable price for people from every walk of life. By establishing the state-of-the-art production line facilities, strong marketing and distribution channels, and growing market demands, the company continued its expansion in domestic and global markets. And today, the Aikmi Laboratories Limited is one of the largest pharmaceutical company in Bangladesh. Competent leadership of the management along with qualified human resources, we are at our best expansion phase from any previous time. We have established state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities in our plant, considering the environmental factors to ensure global standards like WHO, CGMP, UKMHRA and USFDA. The company is not only capitalizing the opportunities of global and domestic general markets, but also prepared 
itself to be the post trips challenges and the challenges of 21st century. We already have installed some highly sophisticated cutting edge manufacturing facilities which include several foreign products, liquid and hard generation products and such a products. Facilities, moreover, we have started some new products like hormone steroid, amino acid projects to elevate the diversity projects. I would like to express my wholehearted gratitude to all our valued shareholders, marginal and institutional investors, doctors, healthcare, professionals and customers for believing in us and take us to the land of the greatest. Thank you very much. At the very beginning of its journey, ACME set its mission statement. ACME's holistic approach is to ensure health, vigor and happiness for all by manufacturing ethical drugs and medicines of the highest quality at affordable price and expansion in the domestic and global market. We view ourselves as partners of the doctors, healthcare professionals, all other customers and our employees and harmonize with environmental issues. Now, we can see the chronology of key events in brief. In 1954, founded ACME as a proprietorship firm. In 1976, the firm converted into a private limited company. In 1983, commercial operation with modern facilities began at Pamrai. In 1995, ACME started its first journey to international operation by exporting medicines to Bhutan. In 1999, achieved ISO 9001-1994 certification. In the same year, launched Veterinary Division. In 2001, achieved upgraded version of ISO standard, ISO 9001-2000. In 2006, ACME completed 18-storied corporate office. In 2009, achieved latest version of ISO standard ISO 9001-2008 in 2011 ACME converted into a public limited company in the same year the ACME specialized pharmaceuticals limited ASPL a subsidiary concern of ACME commenced commercial operation in 2012 ASPL achieved certification of ISO standard ISO 9001 2008 in 2013 the company raised capital amounting to 2060 million taka by issuing 39.63 million ordinary shares in 2013 ASPL amalgamated with the ACME laboratories limited in 2014 the company started its operation in the following units. Cephalosporin unit, which is one of the largest state-of-the-art cephalosporin facilities in the country. Liquid in hard gelatin products facilities. Sachet products facilities. Parenteral products facility under BFS technology, which is highly automated facility. Key promoters and or directors of ACME are Mr. Nasir Rahman Sinha, promoter. Mr. Afzal Rahman Sinha, chairman. Mr. Mizan Rahman Sinha, managing director. Dr. Jabil Rahman Sinha, deputy managing director. Mr. Muhammad Faiq Zaman, director. Muhammad Abdul Rauf, Director Sayyid Shahid Reza, Independent Director Ms. Fozia Haq, FCA, Independent Director All of ACME's directors are seasoned professionals in the business arena and among the leading contributors to the nation's growing economy. ACME Group 
is one of the leading and diversified conglomerates in Bangladesh. The Acme Laboratories Limited, the flagship company of Acme Group, is a manufacturer, promoter, distributor and exporter of human, veterinary, Ayurvedic and herbal and nutraceutical products. Let's have a virtual tour with the Acme Laboratories Limited. Acme has a world-class manufacturing plant located at Dhamrai, a little away from capital Dhaka. The plant adheres to GMP standard, hygiene, safety, CGMP of WHO. Acme has four dedicated manufacturing divisions. These divisions are human, veterinary, Ayurvedic and herbal and nutraceuticals. These divisions produce a wide range of pharmaceutical formulations in different dosage forms for which Acme has established five state-of-the-art production facilities like Solid Dosages Facility. This unit of Acme produces a wide range of non polycinin non cephalosporin human pharmaceutical formulations. Cephalosporin Facility which is one of the largest state-of-the-art cephalosporin facilities in the country. Large and small volume parenteral and liquid and semi-solid facility, which is highly automated facility. Herbal, nutraceuticals and Ayurvedic facilities. And general facility. In all these facilities, Acme produces a wide range of pharmaceutical formulations in different dosage forms which include tablets, capsules, injectables, dry syrup, oral liquid, eye, ear and nasal drop, creams, ointments, meter dose inhaler under HFA technology, dry powder inhaler, suppositories, liquid in hard gelatin, sachet products, large volume parenteral LVP and small volume parenteral SVP products under BFS technology, Bolas, Premix, WSP. All the facilities comply with WHO, UK, MHRA, European and US FDA standard. The facilities are unique for Integrated Building Management System, IBMS, world-class structural design, dust-free environment, well-designed HVAC system, zero cross-contamination, total compliance as per GMP, vacuum transfer close system, different storage conditions, high-tech chemical and microbiological laboratories, modern R&D facility, maintenance by NIST, most up-to-date purified water generation plant and fire management system, eco-friendly effluent treatment plant. Acme maintains total quality system, which includes strict monitoring, end-to-end -end regulation, state-of-the-art equipment, true measurement, equipment calibration, trained professionals, GMP conformity and adherence to FDA, USA, MHRA, UK, TGA Australia, WHO CGMP, ISO 9001-2008. ACME undertakes constant research and development for its product. The team always works with an aim to develop international standard and cost-effective solutions for manufacturing and maintaining the highest quality. ACME's marketing and distribution strengths, novel mission, vision and commitments, 60 years company brand image, consistent quality policies, foolproof scientific integrated marketing strategy, excellent relationship with doctors, chemists and other stakeholders, mega sales force comprising of more than 3,000 experienced, skilled and devoted personnel. 
diverse range of products, comprehensive marketing and distribution network, both in domestic and international market. Significant growth since 1983. ACME has a comfortable market share. In 2011, ACME's market share was 7.19%. In 2012, it was 7.57%. And the last year, in 2013, it was 8.33%. The success in the domestic market prompted ACME to explore the global market. In 1995, the first export went to Bhutan. Following this, now, ACME exports to around 20 countries across continents and many other countries in Asia, Europe, Africa, Latin America are under exploration. As a top-ranking pharmaceuticals company, ACME is relentlessly trying to strengthen its competences and enhance its capacity horizontally as well as vertically. As part of that, a number of projects are upcoming. Those will not only strengthen ACME, but also advance the pharma industry of the country as a whole. These projects are Hormone and Steroid, Oncology, Modern Herbal and Ayurvedic. With the implementation of these projects, ACME will not only fulfill the domestic demands, but also serve global market. ACME as a responsible enterprise has been involved since long in a series of corporate social responsibilities. ACME as a responsible enterprise has been involved since long in a series of corporate social responsibility activities which are multidimensional in nature and also have long-term sustainable viabilities. Company's major CSR activities are distribution of free drugs and medicines to poor and ailing people, helping in cash or kind to autistic persons, contributing to the rehabilitation of autistic persons, helping the education of poor and less privileged persons, donation in cash or kind for the infrastructure of educational and or religious institutions, ensuring employees and workers' family welfare, patronization of games and sport, donation of cash, drugs and medicines, both at home and abroad during natural disasters. Besides, since 2006, the company has taken extensive program of medicinal tree plantation in the northern districts for self-employment, poverty alleviation, women empowerment and ensuring continuous supply of organic medicinal plants and herbs as per WHO guidelines for good agricultural and collection practice GACP. Initially, the number of beneficiaries farmers were only two to three hundred, but now the number has exceeded. 50,000 farmers. Moreover, the company has been trying to obtain organic and fair trade certification from international accreditation body which will open enormous opportunities for exporting medicinal plants and herbs from Bangladesh. ACME is a hugely assets-based company. It has 2,732.77 decimal land, 18-storied corporate building, consisting of 145,195 square feet. It has 900,000 square feet production facilities under different units, besides 75,000 square feet facility for liquid and semi-solid unit is under progress. Sales Centers ACME has 20 sales centers nationwide. Among these, Central, Dhaka City, Savar, Bogra, Rongpur, Borishal and Maiman Singh have their own buildings comprising of 255,000 square feet. The construction works of Dinajpur, Narangonj, Brahmanbaria are in progress.